In this tour, we're going to be looking at how to make um, the ball bounce around the screen. So I'm going to just run the code initially. As you can see, it's quite happily, uh, when it hits an edge, just bouncing off. Now, essentially the logic of this is when I'm near edge, I just want to reverse uh, direction. So let's actually have a look at some of the code I've changed. Now first of all, I've added two new variables which store the width and the height of the game screen. This is not 100% necessary, but it does make the code a bit cleaner uh, as time goes on. So I've updated the width and height here, and where I've got set mode, I've put the two variables in there. I've also added two new variables here, uh, a dx and dy, and these are basically controlling how fast and direction in the x coordinates and how fast and the direction in the y. So if that number was a negative one, then it's going to be moving to the left. So dx and dy essentially are the amount it's going to change every frame. If I scroll down, you'll see that when I update position, I'm using dx and dy instead. Now, the reason why I've put those two numbers into variables rather than put them in manually is because I actually want to use those to control the ball. Okay, so I've now added two if statements, border checks. So if the y position is less than zero or it's greater than height minus 40, I want to times dy by minus one. So I'm introducing a bit of maths here, and it might seem a bit confusing initially, but it's actually quite straightforward. Let's consider what this bit's doing here. It's basically saying, if I'm about to go off the left-hand side of the screen, or sorry, the bottom, the top of the screen, because um, zero, zero in the y um, axis is right at the top of your screen. So if my ball is about to go off the side of the top, or if that ball is about to go off the bottom, which is what this is controlling, I'll talk about minus 40 later, I want to uh, reverse its direction. Okay, so imagine I'm going down. Let's actually um, change dx to be zero and leave dy to be two. So as you can see, it's traveling down at the moment and then it hits the bottom and travels up. So as it's going down, it's adding two to y. And when it's is going up, it's subtracting 2 to y. Now, if you take any number and times it by minus 1, you'll get the negative or the positive of it. So if you had minus 2 times by minus 1, you get 2. If you got 4 times by minus 1, you get minus 4. So it just flips the sign around. It's a really simple maths trick. So why have I got height minus 40? Well, I'm going to take the minus 40 off and show you what happens. So it scrolls all the way down, but goes off. Why is this? Well, if you remember, the x and y position of my um, ball actually controls the top left-hand corner. So the reason it's going off is because it's checking that top left-hand corner, not the bottom of the ball. So the bottom of the ball is actually the height minus 40. That will check the bottom of the screen and that's because my ball is actually 40 pixels high. The same happens on the width. It's almost an identical code. Instead of using uh, y's, I put x's in there instead. And obviously I use width instead of height. And that will simply allow you to have a bouncing ball. So I can now change the dx and dy to be whatever I want. and you get this perfectly bouncing ball as it's going around the screen.